All right, day two out here in New Mexico, uh, Gallup, New Mexico. We woke up, it's about 8.30 right now, about to hit the road again. Ollie is good. Uh, here's our hotel and our truck and everything. Ready to go. Uh, looking to do probably 10 or 11 hours again today, trying to make it to Oklahoma City if we can. If not, it'll be Elk City, Oklahoma. We'll see, stay tuned for that. That's exciting, I know. A little fatigued, my hands are sore from holding the steering wheel. I uh, miss my family, didn't get to talk to my baby girl last night, so I'm pretty sad about that. And yeah, it's already hot, so I'm gonna get in the truck, bye. Good morning. <laughs> I'm tired. I woke up this morning and my body hurts really, really bad. I think it's just from packing the other day and cleaning yesterday. My feet are throbbing, they're just really tender. Um, but we're sleeping on my in-laws and my daughter is loving it. She keeps saying, are we gonna have a sleepover forever? <laughs> um, I just think she likes different environments in a different room. Um, and it's just me and her in a bed, so she loves that. But yeah, so getting ready to go paint the house today. I just need to like paint all the little uh, nail holes that I filled. And I think honestly, that's about it for the house. So I have to go to Dun Edwards and pick up the paint color and do that and then I think I'm just gonna go have fun with our daughter today um, and bring my mom along and maybe we'll go to like an indoor play place or something like that, get out of this heat because it's ridiculous. Sorry I'm whispering, my father-in-law is asleep and there's a sleeping big old dog right next to me too. What? Papa? Papa's sleeping, you wanna say hi to YouTube? Say hi. Oh no. She wants to see her papa, but it's really early. It's not even eight o'clock yet. But here's Tucker. Here's the big Tucker. He's a big boy. Tucker. Yeah. So he sleeps in his little cage at night because uh, it's so warm outside. And then we let him out. She does not like being around him. <laughs> He's so big. He really is so big. He's a Weimaraner lab mix, so. So I probably will bring you guys along for a little bit of the painting today and maybe I'll do like a walkthrough on our house, like an empty house tour. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. Well, we drove for a couple hundred miles and then the truck started smoking real bad. So we pulled off the road. There's transmission fluid flying everywhere. We're only a third of the way. I sure hope we get a new truck or something, but I'm not looking forward to repacking this truck if that's the case. Um, Ollie's pretty upset. Mom is uh, visibly distraught. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully not forever, but I haven't heard anything. It's been like half an hour, so we'll see. It's uh, been like a little over an hour since we made contact with Budget. They just sent an update saying someone will be here in like an hour and 15 minutes to try to fix the truck. If they can't fix it, then we have to switch trucks. So, I don't know if I'd rather them fix it or switch the truck. <laughs> it's, it's a truck with only 20,000 miles yeah. on it, switch a truck. Yeah, our truck has 130,000 miles on it, so it might be a better luck of the draw if we just switch trucks. It'll just be a pain in the butt repacking everything because it's a lot of stuff, a lot. So, we'll see. Kind of sucks. Okay, hi guys. I'm at the house, I just got done painting. You know, like all the little touch-ups, all the little scrapes. Hold on. Um, I took out my gum, cause that's nasty. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an empty house tour of our house. Uh, this house has been our house for four years, a little over four years. Um, I was pregnant in this house. I brought my baby home in this house. She took her first crawl in this house, her first steps, her first words, everything was in this house. So I kind of wanted to share a little bit of our house with you guys, um, just to let you in. I know I never did like a house tour when we were living here, um, but we'll give you an empty one now. Back door, we always came through the garage. We never came through the front door. So uh, here it is, we had this little ledge thing uh, with some upper cabinets too. This was all storage. <laughs> And then we had our um, laundry room and we got the house. The old owners had like these 
flower things. We just kept them. I didn't get to, we knew this wasn't going to be our forever house, so we didn't do anything, okay? Um, here's my uh, studio. And I, this is where I had all my setups. So my camera was here. My vanity was there. So whenever I did all my lives, it was there. And then my backdrop and everything was right here. So by studio. I'm looking forward to my new studio. It's so much better. This was the only other bathroom other than our master in this house. And this is one thing that we didn't like because we needed like another half bath at the, at the front. But just kind of all simple stuff, you know, nothing special. This was my baby's room. And his, these rooms are actually pretty small. So that's the hallway leading down to the kitchen area. I'm gonna take you guys to the master. Uh, this is one other thing we didn't like about this house was the walk from her room to the master was so long because we actually have a huge bathroom that I never really took advantage of. Um, it's just too big. But you guys saw all my outfit of the days thing in this mirror. I do love this door. I think I want a door exactly like this in our new house. But this was our master closet. And honestly, I just used it as storage. Everybody walks in here is like, oh my gosh, this is a dream. It just became a mess. And I don't need that much space for my closet. Uh, we use that thing all the time. My husband loves baths. I don't. And then there's our pooper. The lady that lived here before us um, was sick. So she needed help getting up. We never took that down. Now we go into the master. And this looks so sad. We actually found out today that that is an accent wall with different colors than that wall. It's so similar. We started painting the back, you know, that nastiness. And we realized it's a different color. So sorry, new owners that will buy this house. That is my hair product right there. Okay. Now we're going to go back. And this actually was the dining room, but we had this as this little girl's playroom. She loves this room. We had a TV mounted on the wall, and it was just really nice um, for her to just hang out in here because uh, she was right next to the living room. Um, and we didn't really have like a sitting room area, so we had this as our dining room. So it was just like a big dining room area. We have a cutout wall here. I don't like these floor colors. Um, and this was our living room, so that was that. You guys probably saw me sit on this couch area all the time. Uh, and this is just one big grand room with our kitchen. I'm going to miss this kitchen. I always wanted to paint those cabinets white, but never wanted to do the work for it. Uh, and I wish that this counter was all one height. I do like the bar top, but I'm not a huge fan of that. So that's trash I need to throw away, but that's our kitchen. And then we walk back in here. Here's our front door, very small foyer. I wish this was a half bath, but it is just a closet. And this was my husband's office. Anybody want to buy this office furniture? Yeah, it's great. I don't want to move it. Cool. When you come outside, oh, hello. Um, and this is our front yard. We get people stopping by all the time to ask us about our desert landscape. It's definitely an acquired taste, but it saves you hundreds of dollars. Hey, on my channel. Say welcome to my channel. They are on my channel. They're on your channel? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, but people love this desert landscape. They um, are my channel. And some people hate it. I loved it because it saved me so much money and it always looks they good. And we don't have to do yard work. So that's, that's that. Oh, and get you one of these signs. I'm actually going to steal it. That's mine. I paid for it. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description box, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yep, 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 yep. I love it, love it, love it. That is my house. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we've made many, many memories here. Many more memories to come. Oh, good Lord, what is going on? So yeah, I'm excited to get to Tennessee and start the next chapter of our lives here as we shut this chapter this is my last day at this house my last like 30 minutes at this house um i'm way more sentimental than my husband is i'm not gonna cry but i'm just gonna well up a little bit um i'm definitely gonna miss this place for sure
Well, another update for me here in uh, Edgewood, New Mexico. Budget truck is shot. Have to get a new truck. It means we have to unload everything and reload it all over again. It's completely full. So uh, this is going to be kind of an adventure. Uh, Mom and Ollie are still good. I'm okay. It's actually pretty nice here. It's like 83. It's a nice breeze. So it's not too miserable here in New Mexico. Have a good one. I'm so frustrated. So frustrated. Well, I'm frustrated because the other day when we picked up our budget truck, we're like, I hope you guys didn't give us an old one. And they're like, uh, there's 120 miles, 120,000 miles on it. I was like, oh my gosh, of course. They want to send all of the bad trucks out of California because they want to keep, you're right. Daniel Tiger tells you when you feel so mad and you want to roar, you just take a deep breath. Thank you, baby. I really, really, really appreciate you trying to help mama calm down. Um, so the trucks seem fine. The air conditioning worked great, whatever. And then my husband's in New Mexico right now and he saw a whole bunch of smoke come up from, you know, the engine and it was pink liquid, transmission fluid. And so a mechanic came out, took him like an hour to get there and he put more transmission fluid in there to see if there was like an actual like terrible leak and it just gushed out. Like, so they're like, guess what? You have to unload your truck and load it into a new truck tomorrow. Are you serious? You better get a loading crew to unload and load this thing because my husband does not have help and he can't move everything by himself. Oh, I'm just, I'm so irritated. I'm so sad for my husband. So my husband, he is being a champ about it and he's like, you know what? I'd rather have a safe newer car or truck to drive across country. Uh, then you know Wait, waiting on this. I'm probably way more frustrated than he is. But it's just I sucks. Might be the final update of the day. Wow, look at those scratches. Someone had fun on this hotel bed. Um, <laughs> so we are out of luck with the truck. They're trying to find us a replacement truck, but we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So they have to look through inventory to find the best option for us. And then they'll send it here to us. They said they'll like drop it off like on a truck or something um and then you're supposed to arrange and coordinate a group of people to move all, all of our stuff from one truck to the other so i don't think i got to do that which is kind of a relief uh, but also kind of a stressor because i don't trust other people moving my stuff uh, but we're looking like we'll probably be here in edgewood overnight um, and probably part way through tomorrow but we'll see so like I said, thank you guys so much for following along on today's vlog. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.